a medication that's used far more often on human beings. It's been prescribed to for Bill billions. Yeah, it's insane. And they put that information or misinformation out against ivermectin. They were really crossing a line because they're not allowed to tell the public you can't take a medication for this or you should take a medication for that. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about a drug that has been called the miraculous by scientists around the world and that is ivermectin. It's won a Nobel Prize, it's used by millions globally, and it can literally change your skin and health in ways that most people do not know. So stick around because by the end of this video, you're going to see why ivermectin is one of the most powerful tools in modern medicine as well as skincare. Ivermectin has saved millions from blindness and parasitic infections. It has cleared stubborn skin conditions, and it is even available over the counter in some U.S. states now, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Other countries, they use it routinely for health and skin care, and yet most Americans barely even know what it is, and when they do hear it, they automatically throw it into the controversy that surrounded it during COVID. But by the end of this video, you'll understand and why it deserves a place in your medicine cabinet. Ivermectin was discovered in the late 1970s by William Campbell and Satoshi Omura. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Their work led to a drug that eradicated river blindness and other parasitic diseases millions of people worldwide. So this thing has been awesome, you guys. In 2015, they won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, the first recognition of a drug that saves lives on such a massive scale. Today, ivermectin is used in over 100 countries to fight parasites, protect eyesight, and improve skin health. The results are astounding. You can go online and look for before and after photos of ivermectin being used in skin care, and it's pretty unbelievable when it comes to fighting parasites. So let's talk about the skin. The first thing that you're going to see online when you start researching this is the effect that it has on rosacea. And rosacea affects millions of people. It causes these red blotches, these spots all over the face, which is inflammation, and these little bitty pimples. One of the biggest culprits is these tiny mites called demodex, and they are living in the hair follicles. So Ivermectin, the 1% cream, like I said, many states you can get this over the counter at Walgreens or wherever else, but it is FDA approved as cilantro and it works in two different ways. It's going to kill the mites, reducing their population, and it also reduces inflammation, calming redness and the bumps, okay? If you're having a hard time finding this, you can go to your pharmacy and often it's over in the head lice category. So if you're looking under head lice, you can find it. It might have a different name, but just look at the ingredients and typically it would be an ivermectin shampoo or a 1% cream that you could use on your face. Many patients are going to see noticeable improvements in just a few weeks, sometimes as quickly as a day. It's making it one of the most effective treatments for modern to severe rosacea. The other thing I want to talk about when it comes to your skin is, you may have never heard of this, but it's Demodex blepharitis. Same thing, I hope I'm saying that right. Demodex mites, they can affect your eyelids. And this condition called Demodex blepharitis can cause irritation, redness, flaky, kind of this crusty look in your eyelashes. And it can even cause eyelash loss. But topical ivermectin clears these mites out. It alleviates the symptoms, restores healthy lashes, and eyelids. It's a safe and effective solution recognized by dermatologists worldwide. So in the U.S., some states have made ivermectin available over the counter. This is including Texas, Tennessee, Arkansas, as well as Louisiana. Others are actively exploring this right now. So just do some research and try to figure out if your state has approved that. In countries like Japan, Australia, India, as well as Africa, ivermectin is routinely used to treat parasites, improve skin, prevent serious diseases. It's kind of a cornerstone of global health medicine and it's trusted by millions. That's why it blows my mind that it's had such a controversy here in the U.S. and it can be so difficult to get. Here's the part that might shock you. Ivermectin is already 
transforming lives globally. In Africa, programs using ivermectin have prevented river blindness in over 100 million people. In Asia and Australia, millions use it for skin health as well as parasite control. Yet in the U.S., most people haven't even heard of it, even though it is FDA approved for rosacea and safe when used correctly. Like I said, you can also find it over in your pharmacies to treat head lice as well. So think about this. We have a Nobel Prize winning drug proven to be safe for sight, calm inflammation, and clear stubborn skin right here under our noses. And it deserves a place in our health and our skincare routine. I keep it. I use it. Ivermectin isn't just for rosacea and Demodex. Research shows it also eliminates scabies, head lice. It's going to also protect millions from threadworm infections. It's going to reduce skin inflammation, promoting healthier, calmer skin. It shows promise when it comes to anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects in lab studies. So there's a lot of studies being done on this as well. If you're using ivermectin for rosacea or demodex, apply a thin layer once daily to the affected areas. You want to be consistent with this. Results will show in weeks. You can always consult a dermatologist to ensure that it's right for your skin type. But users are reporting less redness, fewer bumps, healthier lashes, calmer skin. It's safe. It's effective. And in my opinion, it is underappreciated in skincare today. Ivermectin is a Nobel Prize winning, globally trusted, scientifically proven drug. It is saving millions from parasitic diseases to transforming skin, affected by these things that I had just gone over. Like I said, some states have already approved this, so check to see if your state has. If you're struggling with stubborn skin issues, try it. It's not going to hurt anything. As always, I have to say, consult your doctor, but this is a very safe drug. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you've used Ivermectin, and for any other health issues and you've had success, please leave it in the comments below and we'll keep deep diving into these things and putting these videos out.